this is Shannon and Kristen and welcome, welcome to, to Twin, Twin Talks! <laughs> Today we're going to be highlighting our one week adventure yes. in North, North Carolina. Carolina. Two places in particular, um, Asheville and Wilmington. Wilmington. I want to first start off in Asheville because it's actually not our first time there. No, it's our second no. time. And I'll tell you this right now, as people who like as travelers, I like to yeah. just see as much as I can. Like, yeah, we never go to a place twice. I don't like, repeat it. I don't try to do that. You yeah. know, it's never my intention. I'm always like, there's so many other places to see. I'm willing to kind of do, do that. But when something just stands out that much, I'm willing to go back. <laughs> yeah, because we went last year for our friend Lucy's wedding yes. and fell in love. I like, know. we were there for a weekend and it was honestly like an incredible little town. Like, we were obsessed with it that oh sorry hold on I think you're good there's no stop okay. sign there um we fell in love with Asheville so when mm -hmm. our good friend Bianca was like hey do you want to do a week in North Carolina can we stop in Asheville it was a hundred and ten percent like no hesitation. absolutely <laughs> yes so Asheville is a spot that honestly like why we loved so much is mm -hmm. the brewery scene yeah absolutely. how walkable it was and believe it or not, how much history there is in yeah. Asheville kind of surprised me. When we first went for my friend Lucy's wedding, the one thing that we got so much crap for yeah. it's from the locals was the juicy Biltmore Mansion. <laughs> yeah. And we had only had a weekend and it was for our friend's yeah. wedding. So we really didn't have time to go to the Biltmore Mansion. Yeah. And I didn't realize that the Vanderbilts had this the biggest it's the biggest estate in America, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And it's the uh, Vanderbilt's estate. And yeah. the thing is on Long Island, the Vanderbilts have houses here. So yeah, like there's like well, technically there's one, but we've been to a couple because they have a couple in New York, to yeah. be fair. Yeah, because they're New Yorkers, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And so, like, when I heard that these Vanderbilts have an estate built more in Asheville, I was like, yeah, if I come back, I definitely We're doing have that. to go. So, the second time around when Bianca was like, hey, do you want to go? We're like, the one thing we have to do... <laughs> is Biltmore Mansion. And she's like not a history person, so I kind of felt bad. I, felt I, was, bad. I was like, I'm sorry to like, if you want to come, come, but we have to do it when we're there. And, and I, she did it. Which and is, honestly, I, I am so pleasantly surprised how much I liked it. Even mm -hmm. as someone who's a history buff, I just want to like spoil this at least, is that like the price of the ticket was so much more than I I would have yeah, I would willing to pay for. Yeah, I feel like the other Vanderbilts are like I would say normal pricing for what I would expect to like check out an estate. It's usually around like 15 bucks maybe max, you know, 20 bucks sometimes. Yeah, sometimes depending, depending on like which estate you're at. The freaking Biltmore was like pretty over like 80 100 to 100. Yeah, it's about 100 bucks, which for me I was like, "Oof, like what?" Like, yeah. No, but the Biltmore estate, it was so so much more than I expected. Granted, yeah. I knew it was the largest estate, so obviously you can imagine there must be a lot going on. Yeah. So when we got the tickets, we were like, the one thing we had to do, which you have to pay for, is the mansion. Like you visit the, the tour. Mansion. Yeah. The tour. They of have the mansion. other options. Like they have like different tiers of um, tickets that you can get. We got one of the, the lower. Basic. We got the basic option, but we did include the gardens. Like yeah. the gardens is something that like. I am such a sucker for a good landscape, so yeah. like, that's something I knew. I was like, all right, I'm happy to pay a little extra to go see. No, and the so garden's I... free. No, it was included with a ticket. No, the garden's free, Chris. No, that's why we ended up paying more. We paid more because we wanted to go inside the mansion. I am positive that the ticket was because of the garden, Shen. I'm going to pause. Yeah. Okay, we just checked. Yeah, we had to make sure. I was like, wait, I, I don't wanna, know. I didn't want to give anyone false information, so yeah. sorry for the pause, but we just checked, and it does, it did include both. I'm really, I don't think the gardens is free. I think you're right about that, mm -hmm. but we wanted to do both because just seeing the gardens as much as we love that, going inside the house is one of the biggest reasons to go, yeah. to be totally honest. I mean, both are really impressive, mm -hmm. but I really liked about this ticket in particular that, like, beat other tickets in my eyes is that there is also a complimentary wine table. Thing. Yes, but but we the, didn't know. So stupid. Well, to be fair, I, I didn't like blame the website on this and learn yeah. from okay. our mistake. Bad UX. Just yeah. saying out loud. Yeah, I didn't like it because they should have guided you into like, okay, after you paid for it, like you're supposed to. Apparently, after you buy the ticket, you have to like you know sign up to like put in your whatever your wine you know timing is. I didn't know that. Well, a reservation. Reservation, reservation for a wine taster. And yeah. we, we just thought it was like a walk-in. Like once you buy the ticket, it, you, like, it's automatic. Like, yeah. It's like first come, first serve. But no, when when you buy your ticket, 
Don't do what we did. It's totally separate. It is free. It is complimentary, but yeah. you need to uh, time it right. And you need to do the math for yourself. Like, hey, like, I'll probably be done with my touring at 12. I want to do the wine tasting at 1. But you have to schedule it. It's not... It is complimentary, but you need to schedule it. It's yeah. not a walk-in like we thought. So we actually ended up having to, we, we still wanted a glass of wine. We yeah. went, so we were like, we're gonna buy it, whatever. So we did end up buying a glass of wine, which was still really nice. I, yeah. I did enjoy it, like it was super fun. Like I saw the appeal and I felt for the price of the ticket, the more I learned about the estate of how the estate's being taken care of. Mm -hmm. Like when we went inside and checked out just like the extravagance of like, the upkeep of the house mm -hmm. and just how cool the history of each area and was. you had was like super cool. because the estate was so large yeah. we literally had like a trolley take us to and from like where our parking was so like yeah. that was kind of fun because the guy who um like i guess like you know did tours and stuff like that he like kind of like guided us through like as we were like waiting to get to the estate was like talking about fun facts yeah. about the house and how long he's been working there which was really cool since so, for the, a lot of the people on the estate they kind of grew up there as well so it was yeah. like kind of like fun to hear all that stuff like and, behind the scenes yeah and nice. fun fact uh which she told us and i was like i don't know if this is like you know whatever but apparently there's gonna be a hallmark movie this year like christmas, so christmas. Has to built more yeah. or something which is gonna be cool i'm excited yeah, I was to like, see oh, it that's now awesome now that we can like if we go see that film like you know when it comes out i'll like be like oh i know where that stuff is you yeah, know so yeah. that was kind of cool yeah so i'm so glad that our second trip to Asheville, we were able to check off biltmore estate yeah. since that was something we really wanted to i actually understand the hype now after yeah. doing it and recommend it i feel like for someone for a first time astral visitor i would totally 10 out of 10 make a day of just enjoying biltmore yeah. we spent like half the day because we wanted to do other things but you could have spent the whole day Easily. there it was so nice it was super so lovely large. Some people even like brought their own lunches and like, you know, picnicked in the garden, I noticed, mm -hmm. which was kind of really cool. So like to each their own if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. I personally wanted to enjoy the little village, you know, with the vineyard yeah. and stuff like that. But every room was just so cool. I honestly loved the Biltmore and I enjoyed yeah. it. And so the one other reason we all, like I mentioned that I love Asheville is because of the brew scene. Yeah. So because it was our second time, there are so many breweries that like in our first round we hit, we, yeah. which I was really excited about. Honestly, it was amazing. So the second time, thank you, Bianca, we got to check off more. Yes. So we actually ended up doing our own little the next day, like a brew crawl. And like I said, the biggest benefit of Asheville, which I seriously love in any city, like that makes me love a city more is how walkable it is. Yeah. We were literally jumping from brewery to brewery, just enjoying ourselves, mm -hmm. having all the little test tasters. It was just like, honestly, perfection. And mm -hmm. Like we said, I usually don't revisit a place because I want to see so much more. But even going back the second time, I want more. I would totally yeah. go back to Asheville in a heartbeat because the one thing we didn't do, which is a very well-known thing, is hiking. I know. We did not hike any of the Blue Ridge Mountains. I know. Like, That's like probably that. like shame us, especially since we do hike. We do like, love hiking. Yeah. We love hiking. It just was something that we just couldn't fit in with everything, especially since the Biltmore did take about half a day, almost more. Yeah. So it was like hard to kind of get that in with a hike. And yeah. then also explore, um, you know, the town itself because we really only had like three days. Yeah. So that's kind of like how lot. much we gave, especially it was, we're only a week in North Carolina. So we didn't have like a lot of time in Asheville and this was Bianca's first time. So we were like, you have to do like breweries and stuff like that at, at, at you know, in Asheville. And we desperately really wanted to do the Biltmore. So we were like, okay, next time, we're we gonna go we're hiking. We're gonna go hiking. Yeah, and do more brews. <laughs> yes. Because there were still so many that we did not check off. Oh God, no. But I will say the one biggest highlight for me that was new though, yeah. was Wilmington. I know. And can I just tell you, the pull for me for Wilmington mm -hmm. is the summer I turned pretty. Because uh, I love that show. No. I'm so into it right that now. That show has like crack in it or something. Oh, like, it's it so is so good. addicting. It's like so good. It's such a good show. The Swifty in me is just my heart is full when yeah, I watch Yeah, their playlist is fire. Yeah. Just but, saying. But here's the thing though, it's not just known for the summer I turned pretty. No, it's no, no, known no. for like Kate Fear. A show I never watched that everyone loved is One Tree Hill that oh, they're yeah. known for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I didn't realize. I don't watch that show, but I heard good things about it. But yeah, there's like a lot of really good, well known areas in Wilmington. Mm -hmm. But I never heard about Wilmington until. I know it sounds awful. The summer I turned pretty. Or yeah. I never. Oh, like, I didn't associate Cape Fear with Wilmington, or I didn't fair realize too. because yeah. I have seen that film. I just yeah. it's been a long time, so like it wasn't until like there was like some stores that kind of were like Cape Fear, Cape Fear, and I was like, oh, is this where it was filmed? Like, and then I like put it together. Yeah, but it took me a minute. <laughs> it did take us a minute, but I will say Wilmington is just like 
incredible. But honestly, so what I really liked about Wilmington is the blend of like so many different things that it has to offer like it's mm. got the coastal vibes because on the yeah. coast it's got the amazing beaches but it still has like the nice downtown that feels like a little cool city and it again yeah. it, a lot of more it's walkable. quaint vibe which yeah. i like like granted it definitely is like a little more busier than i i feel like you know i feel like a small town would be yeah but it it's it had nice elements to it i agree with you like it had that like chill beach vibe but also the amenities of a little bit of a, a smaller city you know what yeah. I mean like which was nice no I know but yeah no I loved Wilmington oh it's probably one of my favorites honestly like I like yeah. I want to go next time surfing we didn't surf yeah we saw a lot of surfers I will say and I don't know what they were called but there's these things and it's funny because like we got sent a meme the other day about it and I was like no they were everywhere in North Carolina it was like this like, it was um, like beach tent thing I don't know what it yeah it was I like it's pretty it's much called. like an umbrella but it wasn't an umbrella. But, but it was like, like everyone who like every lives there person. had one. And I was like, what is this thing? I'm a beach goer. I've never, <laughs> I've seen, never seen, seen it in my life. Yeah. And I was like, this must be a North Carolina thing. No, but we had like the nicest beach day. And that's something Ugh. that like, I could have stayed at the beach like so many more days because we only gave ourselves a day to enjoy yeah. the beach. We went to Wrightsville Beach. Mm -hmm. And that place is just like... Can I just say the one thing that really stood out to me about that beach is how clear the water, like tropical. I, yeah, this I didn't expect me. that. I, I mean, didn't expect it. We're all. still on the same coast as New York, and I like. But we're way more north. Obviously. Yeah, that's. I mean, I know we're more north, but I just didn't expect how blue. Like it literally, I felt like Look, I was in the Caribbean. I know. I was like, we're in North Carolina. Carolina? Like, it, what is this? It really felt like a nice getaway. Yeah, no, Wilmington was such a cool vacation destination. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it was something I didn't consider, be and because of Bianca. We we really got to, you know, yeah. like experience it because she's the one who put us on the map, which is yeah. so cool. Well, before I get into more Wilmington, though, I see that we're almost at our spot. We're going to be checking out a really cool boba spot yes. by us, and we're going to take you there, enjoy a, a little drink, yes. and maybe a treat, and then come back and talk and more about talk our more trip. about Wilmington. <laughs> We're back! We're back. <laughs> so we just got, they have, okay, here's the thing. We, it's really hard to find boba yes. on Long Island. So we, they just got a new spot in Farmingdale. Called Moog? Moog tea? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know if we're saying it right. I'm really like nervous to say it wrong, but we'll write it in the video. But I will say I'm into like fruity teas and yeah. I don't say I'm like the typical boba person. Like I don't love the tapioca bubbles. I'm like, which is the whole point, which I is think. like, I feel like very boba, you know, but 10 out of 10. Really I good. really like it. I, it will definitely become probably my new boba spot since it's probably the closest to us right now. So yeah, I'm excited. Me too. So thank you, Farming Down. Yes. <laughs> So now we're going back yes. to giving you all of the dirty deets of North Carolina, specifically Wilmington now. Yes. So I know we kind of highlighted a little bit of the beach, but one thing that we both really loved and something yeah. that's pretty big or well known there is Johnny Mayer's Fishing Pier. Yeah. So here's the thing that I really like about it. Like when you did a really good research on that area and yeah. it had like one of the best views of the beach. So we yeah. thought it was like a pier that you could just walk you know we didn't think it would be a problem yeah um until we got there uh <laughs> uh so as soon as we like got to the pier we realized we had to pay to be on the pier and we were kind of like it's not we're really only here for a photo, photo. Like, we're yeah. not really here to like enjoy because apparently which it does make sense people go fishing on the fishing pier yeah so it's kind of a way for people to have like a space to like stay there and fish and do their thing um, but really nice, the guy who worked there, which I honestly wouldn't call this a travel tip, this is just a guy being nice because I don't know if they do this all the time. I think he was in a good mood. I think he was in a really good mood. Um, but he allowed us and um, obviously our friend Bianca to just go there just to kind of take a photo because you could see we had our camera on us and like, like we weren't trying to stay he, there or no, something. No, it wasn't we going like, to be I long. I just want to see the view and then and like then come back. back. Yeah, you like that was I mean? pretty much it. So he let us just like kind of go and walk around and enjoy it, which I really, really appreciate. So shout out to that guy. I don't remember his name, so apologies. Um, but also don't tell people that that happened, I guess. Yeah. Because <laughs> then I'm going to feel bad if he like, uh, you know, gets in trouble. Gets in trouble for that. So only to our viewers do you know this. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, no. But then actually afterwards, honestly, having like a really nice beach day. Like it was yeah. nice to have like one good beach day. Mm -hmm. But I will say when we go back, because I definitely want to go back, mm -hmm. I would make it more than just a day. There's so mm -hmm. many beaches there, but we went Absolutely. to Wrightsville Beach. So we really enjoyed it. But I will say if we do go back, I really liked our Airbnb. We found an awesome Airbnb in Wilmington and highly recommend um, going there, honestly. The guy who owns it won. Oh, Let's I just talk him. about our introduction when we got there. Oh my god, yeah. We the best. literally, like I kid you not, so we've been driving for probably 10 hours. I 13. think it was like 13 it was hours. 13 hours. So I'm going to be honest, my energy level was pretty low. Yeah. Like I am someone who, obviously I'm super pumped to be there, but I am tired, you know? Um... Uh, sorry, I'm just like paying attention to driving. So we're pretty tired. This guy, he literally, the guy who owned the Airbnb, literally walked out of his uh, the house with beers in hand and yeah. seltzers and was like, welcome to Wilmington. Ladies. Like, ladies, <laughs> like, awesome that you guys made it. Because he knew that we had made from a very long trip and we were from New York. It was like the most heartwarming thing to walk into. I was like, yeah. I was like, I'm sorry, bro, that my energy level is so low, but I appreciate what you're bringing to the table. Yeah, right no, now. honestly, because his energy was so hype, I was yeah. like, yes, we're on vacation. Like, it was like the friends you needed mm -hmm. to hype you up after a long car ride. So it was actually real. it was a really nice welcome, you know, which yeah. I really appreciated. But what I really loved about the Airbnb in particular was not only the price point, but the location, like yeah. for, for the price point. But here's the thing, the price point, even though it was a really good deal, mm -hmm. there's a reason why that it was a deal. Like it was yeah. a steal for the location. So if for us, we were there for like the weekend. So we like knew, we're like, okay, like we're, we want to go out to eat for a lot yeah. of the places. This place didn't have a kitchen. Yeah. So if you're the kind of person who wants to cook their own meals or like save a few bucks by having breakfast at least, yeah. this is not the spot for you in my eyes. No. But also has like four chickens. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know if they're like roosters or chickens or whatever, but they make noise super early. Yeah. So they wake you up. But for us, we're like on vacation mode. So even though like I know it's like some people like they want to sleep in, I want to wake up early. So it was like the natural alarm clock clock that I wanted yeah and to be totally fair every time we left the Airbnb it was like kind of like a cute little pet at that point where we we're like bye to like our chickens we did I loved the chickens I loved the chickens I thought that they were awesome they were so cute and they honestly we're so, so like cute. early risers anyway yeah, so I didn't so actually mind them waking us up because they did wake us up yeah I will say that they did wake us up in the morning but it kind of got my day started I was like okay the I, oh my god, I can't remember the chickens' names. But I he don't actually, either. because we ended up falling in love with the chickens. Yeah, we like literally texted the Airbnb host, being like, "What are your chickens' names?" Like, I was like, "I need to know because we were so attached to them." I'll have to find that text. I know, I know. But we'll it was put it in there. It was such a weird bonus. But there were some mm -hmm. things that like obviously made the Airbnb cheaper. But we really recommend it because it was like close enough to downtown, and yeah. it, but it was also not too far from like mm -hmm. the beach too. In my eyes, like no, it wasn't. No. It was a really good location. To be fair though, going out in Wilmington, we did get a few comments about yeah. like being safe because where we were, it was like, I guess the, the borderline cusp. of like the cusp of like, be careful, I guess, which I didn't know walking in, that was something no, we had to no. be worrisome about. But I think this is any city. I was just gonna I, say I mean, that. like, I feel like, and granted, we're from New York, like we know you literally can be like, you know, 7th Ave to 8th Ave can be completely different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And they're like so close to each other. So I'm kind of used to that, I hate to say it, feeling. Yeah. <laughs> what was fun though, like on our, cause we had like one night, you know, let's have a night out in town. And we decided to go to a club. Rooftop Cloud Nine, I think, or Cloud yeah, Nine yeah. Rooftop, one or the other. It's one of those combinations. <laughs> and we got so dressed up. It was so perfect because we timed it right perfectly where it was like sunset. Yeah. And they had like really good apps. Like I would say it's more of a bar than it is a restaurant. In my yeah, head. like would I wouldn't go that? there for food food. I would go there for like a fancy cocktail, which yeah. is like what we did. Yeah, you know? and it had an amazing view of the river walk and the river, Cape, yes. like uh, the Cape Fear River, I guess you call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And it was just such a great evening. But the thing that really like surprised me though, knowing that like, to be fair, I think it's the New Yorker in me, mm -hmm. how early things close. Yeah, so, I, I never get used to that. I don't I always, either. I always instinctually forget. I'm like, I'm on vacay mode, so I'm like, I'm gonna be out late. I'm gonna like do whatever. I'm like, wait, no, that's not everyone's time. Yeah, you know? so when we went out to the rooftop, we like went out at like, yeah, sunset, like I mentioned. Mm -hmm. But like we're like okay like maybe we'll go bar hopping and whatnot 
every place was closed except for like two spots but they wanted you to do like a cover charge and it was like i hate that and I, so again this is maybe the stubborn new yorker in me it bothers me so much well no what is a pay to go in a place for not even an event, which I understand if they like, yeah. an event and they've got an like event, a, I get a live it. music or a comedian, I get that. But when it's just a random place, it's like, I'm gonna buy alcohol here. Why? And it's not yeah. even including it, it's just to get in. But it felt like one of those places where it's like 18 and over type thing. Yeah, like, I was, I was sitting out. there kind of like, mm. like not for me. It's like, I, this is, no, yeah, no, no, no. no. We ended up going to a really cute German spot instead. Yeah. So rather than go to these bars that were like clubby, which that wasn't the vibe I was going for. I yeah. was kind of still going for the chill brew vibe, but there wasn't much open, which was kind of a bummer. So it's something yeah. to like note. Yeah, a couple of breweries that we went to. And again, like you have to like kind of think about when you're planning. Like this was something that like sometimes I remember when I planned, sometimes I don't, mm -hmm. where like breweries will close on certain days. Like, yeah, which I forget I, that. Like, I forget because I'm like, you're right. Like, you know, Mondays are a day usually breweries aren't open or like other random days of the week and especially since we were during the week we were looking at breweries on like a tuesday wednesday yeah you know, which so is like a line right which yeah. is which well, makes sense that, that makes sense us. yeah so we were only in um wilmington for like two and a half days yes yeah, but like, kind of like i feel like it was one full day then a half and then like this next day the third day kind of was another half a day yeah because like by the time we arrived in wilmington it was like middle of the day yeah then we had the full day and then another half day yeah. until we were traveling the other day yeah we definitely jam-packed we definitely we jam-packed jam -packed. everything and there was a lot of driving which bianca did and yeah, she was kudos the MVP. mvp we tried to ask her but she was like i got this i'm like you are a warrior i princess. know i was like queen queen but so on our third day we actually woke up super early and decided to go to this really cute cafe mm -hmm. called drift coffee can i tell you this was the one, I'm a huge cafe person. As you already guys know, we love a good cafe. Like that is something I always seek every time I travel. Yeah. And I think Bianca, but I also found this one as well, but we yeah. both like saw collectively, this, collectively saw, this, saw yeah. this place called Drift's Coffee. And the reason why we both noted this is because it was so in demand on Pinterest. And you know, mm -hmm. if it's a Pinterest find, it's going to be the most Grammy cutest spot in the world. And it did not disappoint in person. Never. Mm -hmm. But with a following up from the cafe though, we ended up going to because we're suckers for gardens if you couldn't mm -hmm. tell with the Biltmore mansion there's this really cool cool garden area called I'm gonna butcher it and I we can't decide what's it called yeah. it's early or early my vote was early gardens I'm, I don't know I think but you're right. I, I, think I you're really right. am not super confident because no one ever said it out loud to us so yeah. you're gonna get the Vogel pronunciation I'm gonna write it out early garden early I'm gonna write it out here yeah yeah <laughs> And we're going to figure out, you tell me what it is. Yeah, no idea. Um, but yeah, no, we went to that garden and it was honestly <laughs> such a great morning mm -hmm. because we got this, there was like little pockets of different things that, um, terrain that was just, it yes. felt like Southern, like, you yeah. know, like there's like certain trees, like there was it Spanish moss tree. Like yeah. I, I, I just, there's things in like movies and images that we've seen that like you know are associated with the south it felt like the first time i was like oh i am I mean, in the, the south. south i was yeah. like oh these are like the things i've seen in films and other stuff so it was like kind of cool to kind of like walk around and experience and feel like that. i was actually in somewhere southern because at this point mm -hmm. i'm enjoying the beach like i always do so, so i still feel like i'm home i was yeah. like oh this is nice like it's a beach day it's a city you know what i mean like yeah. oh this is fun so and to get that little bit was like oh i am traveling like, i am somewhere new yes, you know yes and the one thing i will say that like I know this sounds like I don't want to sound snooty because as a New Yorker I feel very spoiled with the food that we get oh my god but can I tell you Wilmington food was incredible it's really and good. we actually this one place I feel like was kind of like a local gem that I'm really grateful I found because nobody recommended it to me I just found it so it's called the half it was like a brewery and a sandwich yes. spot and because we were driving to um, our next destination we were like we I want like something to go but I want yes. something good you know not just like like we in Long Island we get a deli sandwich to yeah, go always. and that I know that's not like a normal thing yeah honestly. apparently delis are a Long, Long Island, Island thing, thing. Which, I thought I'm shocked by that. No, still. how dare anyone not? That not be a thing for everything. I know? know it just makes it easier. One thing I actually do want to highlight, though, because obviously, like we're looking for food to eat, and I'm kind of backtracking here. Yeah. But the River Walk and all the shops that we yeah. got to go into, I will. I really want to highlight this one shop that we went into that we were obsessed with was mm -hmm. Paper Cuts Bookstore. It was so cute. It is like a book lover's dream. Can I yeah. just say that? Like, even though, like, I just I love bookstores. Yeah. You know me the too. thing is, like, and it's funny because. 
I wouldn't say I'm like an avid reader, <laughs> no. but we did make a book club, so look at us go. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not an avid reader, but I do love bookstores. It kind of has that sort of same community as cafes to me. Like, yeah. it's about the details. Like, people are usually really funny how they even label the books. Like, it is the details. Yeah. Today, you know? yeah. And that store had so many cute details. I personally think for a oh, first wow. time of Wilmington, we got a great, like, little nugget of everything. Mm -hmm. Personally, I'd love to go back just to like really absorb it and like enjoy yeah, the Yeah, you were there stay. a little bit shorter than I would have wanted. wanted. Yeah. I would have been there a little longer if, That's if we had the right thing. That's my recommendation. Staying a little longer than what we did, but I feel like we highlighted the things that needed to be highlighted at it, Wilmington. But I will say, as someone who, you know, loves trying new places, North Carolina has so many areas that I can't wait to explore with you yeah, next time. Yeah, like, honestly. I loved Asheville, I loved Wilmington, and as we were driving, we were going past these other towns and like areas and we're like oh my god if we only had more time I'd I love to stop and explore you know honestly I, I would say our next thing I want to go to Raleigh oh my I've god heard such great to things to Raleigh. Raleigh we didn't get to do Raleigh so no. that's something that will be on our list and I am manifesting it now yeah. we're gonna go so that concludes our trip to <laughs> North Carolina yep. if you're interested in learning more about Asheville and Wilmington we have all the spots covered it, it on our blog thevogeltwins.com Thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, I hope you enjoyed.